Hi, this is Brandon H. I'm doing this review for the Techno Buffalo Review Your Phone Challenge. Um, uh, today I'm reviewing the T-Mobile G2. Uh, I've owned this phone for about a year and it's held up quite well. Uh, let's get into the tech specs though. It was T-Mobile's first 4G phone. So it's running at uh, HSPA Plus 14.4. Some of the newer devices that are coming out are almost twice that speed. But you'll realistically not see anywhere near that anyways. Um, it also has the standard 3G bands and Edge, uh, Wi-Fi 802.11, B, G, and N, um, and it works well with mixed modes and uh, if you're interested in that. Uh, Bluetooth 2.1, it runs a almost complete stock version of Android 2.2, also known as Froyo. It runs a second generation Qualcomm Snapdragon MSM7230 processor, which is clocked at 800 gigahertz, or excuse me, megahertz. But I would put it up against any one gigahertz phone out there, and actually being a clock that low helps save battery, I believe. Um, it's got 512 megs of RAM. It's got 4 gigs internal space, but realistically only 2 gigs are usable. 2 are saved for a system restore. Uh, it comes with an 8 gig SD card. It's got a 3.7 inch WVGA display at 800 by 480 pixels. It's got a slide out QWERTY keyboard with the hinge design. Uh, a lot of people when this phone initially came out were having problems with the hinge. I've had this phone for a year and I still don't have any problems with the hinge so it could have just been a small batch. Uh, 5 megapixel camera with a LED flash. Uh, autofocus, digital zoom of course. It does 720p at 30 frames per second. Uh, the phone weighs 6.5 ounces. It's got a 1300 milliamp battery and of course your standard 3.5 millimeter head jack I get really good battery life out of this phone uh, just wanted to note that uh, but let's look over the phone really quickly after a year of use I don't know if you can see too well but some of the metal around the front has started to kinda tarnish uh, the optical trackpad on it uh, it's kind of a waste if you ask me because it's not very sensitive and I found myself rarely ever using it uh, 3.7 inches is pretty much big enough for you to touch anything you want on the screen without having to use the trackpad. Along the left side of the phone, we have the micro SD uh, or excuse me, micro USB uh, plug that works for charging and for data connection. Uh, your volume rocker. On the top, we have the screen on and off and power button. 3.5 millimeter head jack. Along the right side of the phone you have your dedicated camera button and this is the switch to take the battery cover off. And the bottom you have nothing but a mic. So there you go. Not much. Now after a year of use you can see the cover over the metal on the back has started to chip away. That's pretty standard on HTC phones. Every HTC phone I've had with a metal back has done that eventually. But the phone has been dropped a couple times too as you can see and it's actually held up very well better than I thought it would I've dropped it on concrete probably three times I keep a screen cover on it so no damage to the actual screen but even with the scuffs and everything uh, the phone still works fine which surprises me because with the hinge design I really thought I would have broke it by now <laughs> it started out its life with a case on it but that never lasts too long with me but into the software, it is almost completely stock Android 2.2. Um, it can be rooted and hacked if you like, if that's what you're into. But it runs very well right off the bat. Uh, the only thing that it comes with that isn't standard is a visual voicemail, Wi-Fi calling, and things like that. The Wi-Fi calling works, but... Um, it, if you leave the Wi-Fi area, your call will cut off without notification. And also you should know that using Wi-Fi calling still uses your minutes if you're on a minute-based plan. So not a whole lot of advantage for me because I get really good coverage with T-Mobile here. Uh, if you don't get very good coverage in your house, it may work well for you. Uh, go through the camera here. Standard camera app. Uh, camera and video camera works well the flash works really nice sorry about that uh, the flash works really nice it has a geotagging of course uh, it's got a two times zoom which once you get into the digital zoom it kinda dithers away so uh, flash settings uh, a few settings 
just uh, for different kind of incandescent light, daylight, fluorescent, standard settings, a uh, few exposure settings, so just your standard features of the camera, uh, and everything you would expect from Android 2.2. Uh, like I said, it works very well. I get a full day's battery. I would say a good 18 hours out of the battery under medium to heavy use. But I do keep the screen cut down to 40%. And I leave my GPS off except when needed. And if I'm not using it, my Wi-Fi is almost always off. So, uh, you can ignore that icon. It's actually froze. It's not running at 14.4. It's running at the standard 800 megahertz that's from when I had this phone overclocked I actually set it back to stock just to do this video uh, everything works well on it it comes with your standard uh, Google apps that come with uh, Facebook Twitter things like that Gmail uh, it runs live wallpapers and I haven't noticed any uh, it hasn't impacted the battery any that I've noticed it runs YouTube videos well um, when this phone came out, it was more of a higher end device. At this point in time, about a year, year and a half into its life, it, it is what's coming out now is mid range phones. But if you're in the market for a cheaper phone on T Mobile and a very well made phone, I would definitely suggest this. You might want to keep a case on it to avoid things like that. But all in all, it's a very good phone. Uh, I've also had an HD2, which was hacked to run Android, and I've had a uh, MyTouch 3G. And this is my favorite phone. I've had plenty of time with the Samsung Vibrant, uh, which is a nice phone, but this actually runs faster just because the way the Vibrant is set up, even though it has a better processor. The Vibrant does games a little better than this, but this is very adequate on games. It's no lag. It does very well. Um, that's really all I wanted to say. I want to keep this video short. Nobody likes too long of a video, but uh, I would definitely recommend this phone for anybody who wants a slide out QWERTY it's definitely in my opinion better than the uh, my touch slide I had plenty of hands-on time with it and wasn't very impressed this on the other hand is a very impressive phone and the keyboard is excellent yeah uh, you also have the uh, I almost forgot to mention you have the uh, quick shortcut buttons which you can set to go straight into an app uh, you can set it to go straight into your music player if you want uh, messaging, messaging to one particular person, the web, email, I mean you can set them to do almost anything you want and they're very useful. Uh, voice search on this works very well it picks up what you're saying very well. Uh, GPS locks on extremely quickly. Uh, GPS does drain the battery pretty quickly but that's normal on pretty much any smartphone. So if you're in the market for a, a, a good mid-range phone at a good price, uh, check your upgrades on T-Mobile or a new customer, you get a really good deal on this phone. And like I said, it's a beautiful phone, works well. I would suggest it to anybody. Uh, I'm actually coming to the time where I'm about to upgrade and it's really hard to let go of this phone. So all in all, very well made phone, HTC quality as always. Uh, I would suggest it to anybody. Uh, the only drawbacks I can say on this phone is that it is a 4G phone and it doesn't have a front facing camera. That's kind of disappointing. That would really, in my opinion, be the only thing that would make this phone better. Uh, they could have cranked it up to a gigahertz uh, processor instead of you know clocking it down to 800 megahertz, but I do believe that would impact battery life and speed versus battery life, uh, no complaints at all. So I uh, hope you enjoy my review, and if you do get this phone, I hope you enjoy it as much as I, as I have. And uh, thanks, guys.